Kelly. But I'm about to see if this shit pops. Yeah. Usually you don't be going through, but I'm about to see right now. What happened? You got it? I told y'all everything y'all need to know. Everything, for real. Everything, no holding back. Just wait on it. Best rapper. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in on Detroit rapper TJ6, man. Hey, arrested while doing the show out in L.A. Um, feds came in and got him in the club, hand kept him in the club and took him out. You hear his music playing while he's getting arrested and things like that, as y'all just seen in the clip. Uh, he's been out in L.A. Uh, tapping in with Adam No Jumper and doing. he did the show with Lil House Phone, who's basically part of the whole Adam No Jumper 22 uh, imprint. If you don't know who they are, check them out. They got a lot of dope interviews, both of them. They create a lot of content. They're a big part of the rap game and the culture right now. Uh, TJ6 is one of those rappers who details very heavily on a lot of songs about fraud credit card scamming and everything like that him and his team and i won't say they other it's two or three more guys that rap with him i'm fans of all of them i jam all they shit but i will not say their names on this video just in case this is some real shit going on i don't want to be a nigga that got that like oh i you know was part of a situation you know what i'm saying so i won't say their names but he was arrested, so I could already speak on it. Uh, he hasn't hid what he does. He posted on his Instagram regularly, talking about, you know, a lot of financial advising, if you know what I mean, <laughs> and things like that. And, you know, I don't speak on shit that's not already put out there. So just to make that clear. One thing about me that I, I've been following him, I followed him from the start of his grind. Like, I remember he didn't really have no followers on Instagram. Uh, I was following him and his other part of his team, and, and, and they was doing their thing consistently. And it's crazy because I just hit his DM the, uh, yesterday and told him, like, hey, man, you doing your thing, bro. I remember when y'all first started with this shit. And he hit me back. It was like 100, you know what I'm saying? Because I had posted that shit before. I'm a real, like, starting really low level. I started from the bottom with my shit, too, and I seen them. And if you know me, I've been following that Detroit shit for so long. I'm a big fan of everything they do out there musically and with their culture and shit. I even got interviews with Detroit rappers. But if y'all want to know a little bit more about him, go watch his interview on the Hip Hop Lab with Nando, man. Uh, he, got, he got a real good interview with him out right now. TJ seemed like a nigga that got a good personality, fun to be around. And with this going on, too, I will say this. There's a couple people in comments saying they feel like it's staged and fake. I don't know for sure. We got to wait and see. I do. I will say this. I don't know of the U.S. Marshals and Feds coming to arrest you in the club with just two of them. I also don't know of the feds wearing ties on their shirts like they had on in this video arresting him. So we got to wait and see. If it is serious, free him, man. He's going to be a star in the game. Like I say, he's a good entertainer. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politicians TV, man.